Hi boys and girls, this is a video that I was actually really hesitant for to do um, but I've been encouraged by some of my friends for to, as they said, give it a go. Um, I'll give you the back story first. Um, for those of you who don't know, in recent times I became homeless and then um, through help of different people and some sheer fucking luck, I got my house. Um, and I'm self-employed and my business right now is costing me more money than it makes. So I am broke. Um, I'm in the process of finding out if I can get back into university this year but it might have to wait till next year. Um, I also am currently looking for part-time work, but in the, the area that I live, um, work is quite scarce and it's also quite discriminatory on my appearance and things about myself I can't really hide, you know, like these things. And also the fact that for a lot of jobs I am overqualified because I have a university education. Um, so it's quite hard. And I also have a house to run, bills to pay, kid to look after, etc, etc. And I don't like asking for anything and I don't like being a sponger. You know what I mean? I like to take care of my stuff. Um, and as of late, um, my pride and joy, my PlayStation, backwards compatible, 60 gig, first gen, yellow lighted. And for those of you who don't know what that means, is broke. It's broken. Um, so my PS3 is broken. So I can't game. Um, can't play World of Warcraft because I can't afford the £8 per month. I recently lost quite a lot of weight. Um, I was a UK size 14 slash 16 and now I am a size 10 verging on a size 8. Um, I don't know how that converts into different sizes around the world but it pretty much means that I used to be um, approximately a 32-34 inch waist and now I am a 26 inch waist. Um, vast majority of things that I own do not fit me and a lot of my clothes have been sold. Um, so I don't have very much clothing left. On top of that, I had a Blackberry, my phone, um, which I loved, and I suffer from hand spasms and I get involuntary twitches and I make noises and things. Thankfully so far you guys haven't heard them when I've been doing videos, but um, amongst my twitches are um, occasionally I'll twitch and it comes from this side, I'll do this, or I'll go, huh! Or a recent one that started coming along is um, I just go <laughs> and then that's it. I'm not hyperventilating. My body just does this for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm told that it's stress related. Um, so I had my Blackberry and I was out with my daughter's father um, and he had bought us drinks and we were discussing stuff to do with my daughter and I had... I Jack Daniels and Coke and I hand spasmed and spilt it all over my Blackberry and Blackberries do not like Jack Daniels and Coke um, it's something to do with um, pads in between the, um, the the buttons and things that it just sticks it all together and it just it's done it won't work I've taken it to places to get it repaired and I've been told give, on up, give up on it you need a new one um, my friend my last flatmate then let me loan let me have a loan of her Blackberry and I was standing waiting for a bus 
and my hand spasmed and I dropped it and I cracked the screen. So I broke her Blackberry as well. Um, I'm currently using an old Nokia that my mum let me borrow, which is very old. Um, and it's a touch screen, it's one of the very first Nokia touch screens. And the touch screen doesn't work anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty much just continually taking the battery in and out of this thing for to try and get it to work. Um, my laptop, which I've had for years, is now on its last legs. Um, and I'm trying to get all of my camera footage and backdated stuff off of it before the entire thing just gives up um, and I don't have any money to replace it. Um, so what have we done so far? There's no clothes, there's no phone, my laptop is dying, my PS3 is broken, um, my bed is broken, my friend when I moved here, my friend um, gave me a bed that she had spared because she was downsizing and moving into a house that had two rooms when she used to live in a house that had three rooms. So she gave me her bed from her spare room and let me know that it wasn't the best of beds and she said that there was a broken bit in the middle but it should be okay for short term. And lying in my bed um, about a week ago Mikey rolled over and my entire bed went crunch. So my bed sits like this. My bed is broken. I don't have any money to replace my bed. Um, right now, I am wearing Kitty's new rocks. Right here. Okay? And they have the squeak. I don't know if you can hear this, but listen. the squeak, okay, um, which I can live with, minorly annoying, but I can live with it, um, wearing her new rocks because my new rocks that you saw on one of my unboxings that I bought about a year ago did this, now this stuff here is industrial glue, I put industrial glue on it that is supposed to hold anything together because they are wide open, right? Look. All that way round, wide open. And then on this one as well. So I can't wear them. It's apparent when I'm walking that they're open. The glue is very noticeable. Um, and when it rains, my feet get soaked. These babies here, these are Neuro 161s. They cost, the cheapest that I could ever get them was £179.99. I recently did a, a research for to try and find some and apparently they're about £200 now. These ones here, <coughs> which I would be more than happy with are 474s. Those are slightly cheaper. Those are in the, the hundreds range. I don't have any money to replace them. And it's not that I'm sitting on my ass um, doing nothing. I am trying to get back into university. I am trying to find um, part-time work. Um, and my business is currently offline right now because the website is being redone by a friend of mine. He's taken it on as a, his university project. Um, but I have very, very limited stock because I don't have money for to buy stock and I don't have money for to buy materials. Um, and the business is continually costing me money because I still have to pay the inland revenue. I have to pay them tax. I have to pay them late fees, <coughs> excuse me, late fees for things because while well, being homeless and moving and different things, some stuff didn't get sent away. So money, 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 money all the time. Um, I am planning on open, opening my own Etsy store. Um, I can't sell any more of my belongings on eBay because 
the eBay account that I had was in my mum's name um, and there was some mess up with bank details and things like that on my one and it just won't let me use it and as of the um, mess up with the password thing that happened on eBay not that long ago I haven't been able to access it and it won't let me open a new one because it says that there's already that email address and those bank details registered um, so I can't use eBay um, so I will be opening my own Etsy store as soon as possible um, for to sell belongings that I no longer need and to sell what limited stock I do have um, so I am trying um, for to get money in the short term until I can get another extra job and get back to university. Um, but it came to my attention recently that there are such things as funding websites. My friends and I have been discussing this and I've looked at a lot of things on there and there's a lot of things about um, helping to get a new roof for a church or um, helping somebody who has cancer buy a new car or um, helping um, toys for children who are in hospital or building a playground very worthy causes very things that if I had any money to give I would give to very worthy things but on there there's also people who are having a very hard time and really need help to get back on their feet um, or people who have recently lost a job and are in dire straits financially people who even down to people there's a couple of people on there who have broken their iPhone um, and want to replace it there's people on there who have ones for donate money so that I can be a millionaire by the time I'm 30. Um, there's also one there that I saw who is a guy um, that asks for donations to help fund his beer and video game habit. So there's a multitude of different things there. Things that um, some of us would deem more worthy than other and some of them quite cheeky. And I thought that it would maybe be quite cheeky for to ask because I, I've i always provided for myself since I've been a grown-up. I mean, I was quite spoiled when I was younger, but since I've been an adult, I have worked. I've sometimes worked two and three jobs at the same time. Um, I supported one of my exes and my daughter um, while he was unemployed. Um, I also at that time had to sell a lot of my belongings for to keep the roof over our head while I was working two jobs um, and I don't like to scrounge um, but sometimes you need help and sometimes things are just a bit tough and right now I'm in a place where I am continually waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel We've come really far and we've got a lot of things sorted out and I'm very grateful um, for what I've been able to do and what my friends have been able to help out with. But everything right now means that there is no money and everything is broken and I can't do any more right now. I'm just waiting to see if I can get back into uni. I'm waiting to see if I can get an extra little job and I have no clothes and I am wearing somebody else's boots and the only reason I have them is because she's pregnant right now and her legs swell obviously so she can't wear them but when the baby arrives she's going to want them back um, and my phone is broken, my laptop is on its last legs my PS3 is broken, my bed is broken um, so I was wondering and I know that in this current climate climate, a lot of people are in the same boat and struggling um, but if you 
felt like you could maybe follow the link below and if you don't want to put anything towards mine then that's fine because like I said there's a lot of causes on there that if you have any funds that you could donate would be a very good thing for a playground or for somebody who is raising money for a charity or a new roof for a church. I wouldn't feel insulted at all if you follow that link and then just don't put anything to mind because like I said there are a lot more worthy causes out there. Um, but I would like to say rest assured that anything that does go into that fund when I'm back on my feet and I have enough funds to do so I will be on that website and I might not be able to give money back to every person that gave it to me but I will give it back to causes on that website um, worthy decent causes anybody who is struggling and needs a hand or places like I said like the church roof or the playground or toys for kids and things like that I will put money back into that website um, other than that I really just wanted to say thank you for watching and if you go to that link thank you and if you put anything in there I'm very very grateful and I hope that it's obvious that it's it's taken a lot for me to ask. I really don't like doing it. Um, but yeah, thank you. Later boys and girls.